All right, shalom, y'all. Yeah. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. It's all praise to the Most High and His Son. And we are living in beautiful times, if you are in the know. And you will see a big difference between these, I want to say, spiritually illiterate Israelites the ones who will still call on the name of Yeshua Yah Yahweh Jehovah everything but the right name and it's funny because you still have they'll have the Paleo Hebrew Yahweh but they just won't say it right Like, you don't serve a jealous God. You don't understand. You can't call a Hispanic guy named Jorge George without him correcting you. So how much so the Heavenly Father? Um, I'm walking the pup here. Let me get this scripture real quick. Psalms 5. and f I think it's 5. Let me pull out. Let me keep walking for a second so I can let this fool run. But time and time again, scriptures talk about how that name is very, very precious, very, very important. There's no way around it. Yeah. Okay. You got I'm let this train go by. Yeah. Hey, you got Israelites that will swear up and down that they have it right, or even that that name doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And both are wrong because the name, everything that's written in Scripture, it counts, bro. Revelations talking about you cannot take away or add to this book without suffering. The penalties for that. Alright. The Lord is not like a man. That you know. He cannot lie. And he's not playing. No games. Let me let this fool run for a sec. Oh, you found a bone huh. Alright. Let me get this scripture real quick. Alright. Psalms. Uh, chapter 5. And I'm just going to start from the top. Give ear to my words, O Yahweh. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King, and my power, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a power that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. That thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. And that's you, you catch it that don't want to call on the proper name, don't want to teach proper doctrine. You just want to freestyle it and, and go with the flow of the uh the crowd, so to speak. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward the holy temple. Lead me, O Yahweh, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy them, O power. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude in their, of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their name, or so like you, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou 
Yahweh will bless the righteous with favor and it's so like you will thou compass him with the shield. That name is very important, folks. Very, very important. I don't know. Like if you call my house and ask for anybody besides me. You ain't getting nowhere. You might have you might even have a problem if you insist on that you you in the right and I'm in the wrong. You feel me? And I'm just a mere mortal man. I ain't shit. You know, I'm just trying to get it right. But with fear and trembling, you understand? And you look about what's going on. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Ain't no amount of prepping. Ain't no masks. Ain't no storage of food. The only thing that's going to save you is if you're in that number. If you're of his elect. And if you're of his elect, you ain't out here deceiving the people. That's fact. That's fact, man. We just went to that. We talk about what the Lord does to his people in that day. Psalms 23 is perfect. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Y'all know that. It says all these things that the Lord does for his namesakes, for righteousness, okay? All these cities being on lockdown and everything. Man, listen, I praise the Most High every day when I wake up and just and, and see that these prophecies are coming to pass, man. We are clearly living in the times of Second Ezra, chapter 15, chapter 16. I got family out in places that, you know, hey, man. That's just it, bro. Like, yeah, my mama's in California. And I've been asking her to come up out of there for a long time, you know, but she's stuck in her wickedness. And, you know, that's the way it's going to be. My sisters, my, my other children, it's like, man, it is what it is. And there ain't nothing I can do about it. We've, we've warned them, you know what I'm saying? We, the, the prophets have spoken. If you have the right spirit on you, you letting people know what's going on. You've warned them. And that's that's our lot. Just to warn the people, to prophesy, cry loud, spare not. Fuck they feelings, man. You know, they feelings going to be really hurt when they suffering from coronavirus. What is that you got in your mouth? What you got? Drop it. Drop it. Yeah. Cities being shut down. There ain't nothing nobody can do about it. No amount of money is going to save you. I don't care if you got racks on racks on racks. Ain't nothing that you can buy. You can't buy your way into salvation. You can't buy your way into the kingdom. You cannot buy the Lord's good graces. He is not your pastor pork chop who, you know what I'm saying, want to know how much you put in that collection plate, whether or not he go be, you know, have favor towards you. The Lord ain't like that, man. He deals with the lowly, the humble, and contrite spirits. Those who can acknowledge that they've been at fault. Those who have repented. You know, we in the time of the Passat. I mean, we're in the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Look at all this stuff that's happening, man. I saw some little kids out playing. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get killed. Like, boy, you really don't understand how true those words are. Come here. Get over here. Man. I'm just, I want, I also want to say, you know, all praise to the most high because I ain't been able to even use my camera for a long time for some odd reason. I guess it just wasn't his time. All things happen when he ready. So now I really want to, I'm, I'm in a good spirit because I can upload this. I can speak these words. And. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go sit down and, and you know, some my spirit to put together a lesson. Right now, I'm out walking the dog. And, yeah, he about to start acting a fool with all these workers out here. So, with that, you know, once again, call halal yahal bashim yahawashah. Double honors to the elders. A great millstone. All the sincere Akiyam out there still pushing his word and truth and sincerity, you know. And as you see, 
We almost home. We are almost out of here. It ain't gonna be too much longer in Babylon, you know what I'm saying? Don't make plans for next year, you feel me? Alright, shalom.